Christianity will show you the way. You don't know it yet, but it's good for you. They call me Obly Missionary May. Do you want a Dodge Charger for 42% APR? Did you see the Aiden Ross clip today? Tell me about why you don't support women. Okay, I do. There are strong. Name a woman. She can't. She can't even name a motherfucking woman. And that's why we make up for it by spreading democracy. Democracy. Christianity. Uh, Gina, do you know what I love more? Democracy? It's fucking democracy. Fighting for democracy for the good of our super earth only? Exactly. Colonialism. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Yeah, we're there on the grounds, boots on the ground, fighting whenever we can actually get into the server but we're there when we can and then you know what the first thing i do is gina what i land on a planet i see life forms that currently inhabit there and i go uh-uh you know what they need jesus christianity will show you the way you don't know it yet but it's good for you and you're gonna believe in god or else they call me ovily missionary may because i spread the word of jesus Welcome to another episode of Show Bobas. Uh, you can probably tell what we've been doing for the last 48 hours. Hell Divers 2, baby. Well, I mean, a good like 42 of those hours is actually waiting to get into the game, but still fun. Well, we were able to do that bypass skip with you last night yeah. where I was already in a game and then I was able to just invite Gina and then you had no queue time. Yeah, I jumped in immediately. Uh, actually, today around like 4 p.m., I jumped on to see how long it was. I got in immediately. I'm assuming it's because everyone's at work because they have jobs, which must be nice. Fucking losers. <laughs> no, but honestly, employment is kind of good and important. Yeah, I really need to pay my bills and there's no jobs out there right now. Have you ever thought of democracy paying your bills? Mm -hmm. Enlist today, Gina, mm -hmm. and you could... No, I'm going to keep it within <laughs> hell divers. I'm going to keep it within hell divers. I can't speak because both of my ancestors were a little invady, you know, with Japan and Germany and that blood kind of mixed in. Mm -hmm. uh, we were streaming it yesterday and I feel like at one point, uh, who was it? Your friend or your chat was saying something like Ovali's getting a little too comfortable. Ovali's German side is really coming out because Ovali was running around screaming about like how she wanted to colonize people and how there was a better race and how yes. you got to keep the blood pure. Yeah. Well, like that. well, well, no, I said, <laughs> I want to see the alien blood. Yeah. Right, right, right. right. Splattered all over the floor right. and I'll draw a picture for their children. Right, right, right. Finger paint with their father's blood. We've I been, feel like it's about sending a message. Mm -hmm. We've been, uh, we've been liberating a lot of, uh, a lot of locals. Yeah. They'll take Jesus or they'll take death. <laughs> Either you go with Jesus or you go die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm, wor I'm working on it. Something, it's, it's, you it's know, do you want a Dodge Charger for 42% APR? <laughs> is that what it is? Never bought a car. I don't know. Do you want to live off base so you have to marry the first girl you meet after two weeks? Join us now on Helldivers, all right? Fight for a uh, super earth. Super earth? Super earth. Spill the oil, Ovali. Honestly... I mean, we are digging up for samples and all these mm -hmm. missions and stuff. Actually, for those people who have no idea what we're talking about, <laughs> we are talking about the game Helldivers 2 that came out, I want to say, a week or two ago. Fantastic game. Um, what's the best way to describe it beside it being a third-person Space shooter? Nom! We're back in Vietnam, baby. And yes, there are holes that you can fall into and die because it happened to me. And you would think that I would be, you know, kind of immune to that because of my bloodline. But no. Space Nom. You're in space. You're fighting two different sides of the galaxy. One is taken over by robots. The other one's taken over by giant mutant bugs. And in real time, per planet, it shows how many percent we've liberated in real time. So everybody across PC and PlayStation is contributing to this one cause to liberate our our planets and it changes all the time because it's in real time so you can log in and be like oh we're 50 percent liberated and then all of a sudden it drops to oh no they've taken over we're only two percent liberated so you have to jump in there and you have to fight for democracy managed democracy any questioning is considered treason it's starship troopers yeah it's it's basically starship troopers you shoot the aliens you shoot the robots and then you go home to your fucking country mm -hmm. i just realized that one of the male voices in the voice pack that you can choose is a guy that I played D&D &D with. Which one? Robbie Draymond. Robbie 
Robbie something. Robbie something. Yeah. The name is familiar. Yeah. My favorite is Yuri Lowenthal popped up in there. Mm-hmm. Like I was uh, skipping through the way that they allow you to customize your characters is there's like four different voices that you Two can choose Two female voices. From. Two male voices. Yeah, something like that. Um, and I was flipping through and I was like, holy shit, Suzaku, when did you get in this motherfucking <laughs> game? And then also Yuri Lowenthal, he did the voice for Spider-Man and in the Insomniac games. And then Sasuke, most notably, for Naruto. But I was losing my shit when we're running in circles or something. And he just, with the most passionate energy and just like with the urgency in his voice, just screams, Grenade! <laughs> the voice acting is so doofy because it is like Star Troopers. Like when you call in reinforcements, the female voice goes, Call in reinforcements! Everyone's terrified until they say, Have a cup of liberty! Yeah. It's the stupidest shit. If you guys want to get like an idea for the tone of the game, just watch the trailer that they released. Mm-hmm. It's. It's fucking hilarious. It's just like a bunch of methed out people fighting for what they think is democracy. But it's fun. Like this game released and I guess they didn't they didn't anticipate it taking off that well because the servers uh, are having a very hard time. Uh, It's being overloaded and they have to like increase their I don't know fucking rental space. I don't know how servers work. Math. So I feel like a good comparison point in this is that Helldivers 2 is not a triple A game, right? Mm-hmm. That's not Activision Blizzard or Ubisoft. Actually, Ian, can you check who the publisher and is everything is for us, please? Yeah. Two, uh, two Ian's, Ian's going to do some research really fast, but you know, it's not like the new fucking Assassin's Creed or Call of Duty. It's what pe- some people call like a double A game or something yeah. like that. Uh, what has also been released in recent time, Pal World. Mm-hmm. So the entire gaming community, or the majority of it, I should say, is getting really excited because we're seeing two titles that aren't made by AAA or quadruple A. We see you, Skull and Bones. Um, games that are coming out to just huge success yeah. and love from the community because yeah. I feel like a lot of the gaming community has felt that there's just been not that many actual good games mm-hmm. that aren't just fucking remakes or remasters. Final yeah. Fantasy VII, you're safe from this criticism. You're safe. You're, you're beautiful. Um, Indie Games has really taken over the last few months. We went, what, from Lethal Company mm-hmm. to Pal World to now um, Helldivers. And I, I heard, uh, I was watching a video earlier that uh, I guess someone at 343 Studios had suggested to make an ODST game that was pretty much identical to Helldivers 2, and it was rejected. Of course. Yeah. So to see Helldivers 2 doing so well, which is great. And also the best thing about Helldivers is it's only 40 bucks, not the $70 that AAA titles are wanting from you now. It's only 40 bucks. And Ollie brought up a great um, uh, point yesterday because she asked me, she's like, are you going to get the, uh, the Battle Pass? I'm like, uh, I don't really feel like spending money on any games. Like, I'm not a big fan of microtransactions. And she's like, well, these people really deserve it. It's an indie company. Uh, their game is only $40 and the Battle Pass is only like nine bucks and you should support them. I'm going to jump in. I don't know if it's an actual indie company. That's why we're oh. asking Ian to, I think Ian found it. Uh, yeah, it's made by Arrowhead Game Studios Arrowhead, that's what it out was. of Sweden. Oh, Sweden. Sweden. Yeah, yeah. Dude, oh. the Europeans are coming out with bangers. Mm-hmm. Like, I've been seeing a lot of European game developers that are just like super small studios, five-person team making their first game, or mm-hmm. like studio of 20 people that are pumping out a bunch of fun things. I love the creativity that's coming out from there. I love that a, that a game from Sweden has captured the hilariousness of Americans so well with this fight for democracy. I mean, I feel like it's just, oh, that's what people outside of America think Americans look like. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, no, yeah, that makes sense when we have fucking shootings in schools, malls, movie theaters, uh, airports, uh, Super Bowl parades, uh, mosques, uh, churches, uh, temples, um, preschools, daycares. Um, just randomly in the street. Grocery stores. Grocery stores, of course. Yeah. Um, festivals. Let's see. Have I lost it? Yes. Festivals. Have uh, you seen big the clip? music festivals like in Vegas. Did you see the Aiden Ross clip today? No. Oh, Jesus. The most embarrassing fucking American thing ever. I guess he's walking. They're outside. They're walking in the grass and there's a guy next to Aiden Ross wearing a a vest like a military looking vest or a tactical vest we don't know if it's actually a real thing and he's holding a shotgun just walking next to aiden aiden says oh hey whoa, 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 what's the and then the guy goes boom boom shoots on the ground right next to him point blank like maybe like a foot away and goes boom boom that's what <laughs> and he's just laughing i'm like are you fucking stupid 
Like, you don't fuck around with guns like that. It was a shotgun. No. Yeah, dude. I can show you the clip in it, like, right there. I was just watching it right before uh, we yeah, started yeah, yeah. this. And it's like, this is why, like, y- these are the gun owners that make responsible gun owners look like shit. It's the gun owners that leave their guns within reach of their cats. Me. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, this but, is why other countries look at us. They're like, these people are fucking stupid. Yeah. And they're insane. And they all have, like, all these idiots have guns. <coughs> I don't blame them. No. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just... He was uh, shooting his cyber truck today with a gun to see if it was bulletproof. So, God damn it. Cool guy. It's, that's the internet for you. That is definitely the Here. fucking interview. It's a very too quick. But yes. Where? Oh my God. I hope those were blanks. They weren't blanks. Wow, he just shot right next to the fucking floor. That's stupid. Fucking stupid. Like, I, like at this point, Darwinism, take him, take him out. Like, thin the herd. All right, we need to thin the herd at this point. Yeah. What was the statistic where it's like gun owners are more likely to get killed with their own gun? Am I crazy? Or is that knives? If you don't know how to fight with no, a knife. I thought- no, it's, as soon as a gun goes into your home, you're much more likely to be killed by that gun than any other gun. I'm dying. Oh, that's what it was. I'm going to die. Thank you for that uh, statistic. Speaking of things you shouldn't have in your home, Ovley, I have been enamored, sucked in, and obsessed with a series that I found on TikTok. Oh, are you? You're not talking about that one, are you? Yeah. The one that's like 50 fucking parts? Yep, yep. Uh, There's a 50 part story on TikTok that this woman has uploaded the past week called Who the Fuck Did I Marry? And she goes into the story that is way too familiar for me, besides the marriage part, uh, about dating a pathological liar. And this has taken TikTok by storm. Her name is Risa Tisa. Shout out to Risa out there. I think she's in Atlanta. Let's go. Um, Bless you. I hope you're doing great. And she tells a story about this man that she met on, um, she matched with him on Facebook dating, which apparently people use. Facebook dating? Facebook has its own dating platform? For like years now. And also like on Hinge or whatever. And so, you know, she meets him. He's like this six foot four dude. They go to dinner. Like, you know, she got a flat tire the first time they met. He changed it. She was all about it. Loved it so much. He used to work at Apple, but now he's VP at a condiments company. And, you know, he's just like, I just moved here from California. You know, I was married back there in California. But, you know, I want a new change. I got divorced, whatever. Long story short. He starts making promises like, yeah, let's buy this house. But something always fell through. Let's get this car. Something always fell through. Mm -hmm. She gets pregnant. But then, unfortunately, miscarries. And then, like, she just starts putting pieces together. Everything she found out turned out to be a lie. Down to him crying about his grandmother that died during COVID. Because this was during COVID times. They had to lock down together. His grandmother died from COVID. His uncle died from COVID. Uh, He has four brothers and two sisters. Um... And, you know, he was working every day, blah, 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 whatever. Everything was a lie. He was never in California. His grandparents died in 2007. Everything was a lie. She found out and she kicked him out of the house. And it like, it's just, it was this crazy story of like, who the fuck did she marry? And I was like, this is exactly what I went through with like two different guys. There are like some crazy pathological liars out there. And then, so she made it a point to not say his name because she didn't want any repercussions. Mm -hmm. She called him Legion because that's, I guess, like that's what he wanted to go by or whatever. Um, Okay. I don't know. Right. Like if honey girls, girls out there, if if a man tells you that they want to go by a different name and that name is Legion, Tiger, uh, Alpha, Sigma Bro. Delicious. Delicious. No, I think I'd let delicious pass. Deliciousness. I think I'd pass. I think she's, I'd let delicious she's pass. She's a bit of an older woman. Okay. You know, so you know, she like she doesn't know this is fucking like Legion with the, the mask and everything. <coughs> so, um, so after that comes out, I'm I'm only on part forty of fifty now, right? You don't even know the ending. Not yet. Like, but before I even got to the ending, I've been seeing other viral viral videos of people who also dealt with this man like women who also dealt with this man and then some dumb bitch went and found out who he was posted a video of his facebook page his real name and everything and now the internet's turning on her saying like why would you out him now 
uh, now Risa Tisa might be in danger because this mm. guy might retaliate. And she was just doing it for clout. Like, well, you know, I wanted to help. Like, people are like, no, you just want to be the first person clout yep. chasing that wanted to drop the new news. And then so now there's multiple women that have come out and said, I had to deal with him too. I had to kick him out. Um, the original woman, Risa Tisa, found, um, found out that he was previously married to this woman, got divorce papers. You can find a lot of things publicly, apparently. Oh, yeah. No, you can find everything. Yeah. And then um, found that woman's phone number, talked to the ex-wife, and then eventually kicked him out, talked to his family. And they were like, what brothers? What sisters? The only brothers he has is an older one he doesn't talk to and a twin. Oh. And this twin. There's two of them? Yeah. But this twin is a VP in nashville for a condiment company he's been using his brother's story and then like and like and then so she talks to the twin he's like i haven't spoken to him since 2015 because he knows i'll whoop his ass like crazy made it up he was bragging about being vp he was bragging about he played arena football and like the poor woman doesn't i don't know what who knows what arena football is Is what a game what an aim for the middle lie (laughs) so he was telling people like yeah we had like we were championship blah 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 arena football and nobody like she didn't know what that was you know and plus like at this point she even admits like i was smitten i thought everything was real and then people in the comments are like i played arena fit- football when we won championships they gave us like a voucher to a restaurant so like there's like this huge crazy story unfolding and it's taken i have never been so entertained by a story of a psychotic cheater whatever since well, my story when I went public, right, <laughs> right. So, listen, like, cheating sucks until it becomes entertainment for others. Yeah, yeah, and like it's like, and I've said it in my story too. Cheating, I can deal with that. That's fine. People cheat. Who cares? But like, when you take it to the next level and go crazy like that, she mm. married him, you know, and like he was living in her house, and like when when she kicked him out, she found like bottles of pee. Yeah, it was crazy. So that's where I'm at now. I tried to pee in a bottle before. It's like... It doesn't work for us, Avi. It doesn't. But you know what does work really well that I absolutely loved when I had surgery? I fucking love catheters. <gasps> Is that the st- thing that they shove in your vagina and then you pee through it? Yeah. Do you even feel like nope. you're peeing? Nope. I it remember comes out. my sister was taking care of me after my surgery. She's like, whoa, you're peeing. I'm like, I am? I can't feel anything. And then in my drugged up, fucked up state, I was like... This is perfect for gaming. Oh my god! Why don't we all have catheters? Like this is great. And then so I, I like hit up my doctor friends. I was like, "What? Like hypothetically, like would that work?" He's like, "No, because it causes a lot of UTIs." I'm like, Ugh. "I'll just drink a lot of cranberry juice." I'm exactly. Like, yeah. We get those normally anyway. It's great. It's great. And then I'm, I was telling, like, I was talking about it. Like catheters are great, but then I guess for men it hurts more because when it well, was it like goes in their pee pee hole. Well, it goes in our pee pee hole too, but I don't know. They say for men, it we really... have a bigger pee pee hole. Do we? Yeah, that's where the that's where the penis goes. The the urethra is not where the penis goes. It's a different hole, at least. No, it's the. <sighs> it's where the, Ovly... I am to, so because it has to fit a penis. In scared there. to ask you how you've been having sex at this point. I don't. You know what? Don't answer. I don't even want to fucking hear it. Like, I have so many questions that I don't want answers to. This is what I do. Ollie, I go to Ranch Ninety Nine. What? I pick up two octopuses. <laughs> it's animal abuse. With every episode of this podcast, we stray further from the light of God. <laughs> Oh my god. That and that's why we make up for it by spreading democracy, democracy. and Christianity. Mm-hmm. Or was it Catholicism? Which one was the raids? I was it I don't Was remember. it Christian? Was it I both? Don't know. Are you talking about the Crusades? Which one was the Crusades? Which I Jesus was involved in some capacity. Never went to church. Don't know. I went to Catholic school for 4 years and took Catholic school lessons or whatever for probably like 8. Still don't know the difference between Catholicism and Christianity. <laughs> I've I've been lying. Like my the whole the whole strategy. I grew up in Silicon Valley. The whole strategy um, for the kids in Silicon Valley is okay. You need to go to like a good private school, and then after private school for high school, you have to go to a Catholic high school because those are the high schools that fed into the most 
colleges. Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because those would give you the higher chances of getting into good colleges. Whoa. It doesn't matter if you're still like a dumb shit like me. So in order to get into some of these Catholic high schools, like I think I took four different interviews with each school. Yeah. And you have to go in there and you have to say like, oh, well, you know what? What Christianity or Catholicism, whichever one it was, means to me is I just really feel like I have a very strong bond with the Lord. And that's what's gotten me through all of my obstacles, trials and tribulations. You just bullshit. Yeah. They let you in. And then you could be a little degen. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. I actually no. I take it back. I did go to church when i was little and my mom was too busy partying so she just like dumped me at her whatever caretaker's house and they used to take me to church on sunday mornings i don't like catholic churches oh it sucks yeah like okay stand up now get on your knees now stand back up now get i'm like yo like pay me for this what the, yeah right and then also like the the chanting- you pay them obviously you oh, we do them. in the don't yeah the donation basket yeah. gets passed around i would always get pissed because my dad would he would say there was no money for mcdonald's <laughs> He'd say, there's no McDonald's money. I was actually a Burger King girl, but yeah. there's no McDonald's money. We can't do that. Little fucking collection tray comes along and guess who pulls out a crisp 20? Yeah. 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 That's like 20 orders of large fries, dad. Yeah. Yeah. Back then. Yeah. But yeah, I Bullshit. remember going to the Catholic churches with my caretakers. I'm like, this, this place sucks. And the weird singing. Oh, my, 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 my. Yeah, and then later on in life, I dated a a guy who was like really Christian. He asked me to go to church with him. And I was like, yeah, you know, I love you. I'll support you, whatever you want. So I went to this Christian church with him. And then we were all sitting in the lobby. And then, um, so I guess like the inside was too full. So we all sat in the lobby to watch it on the screens instead. And I was like, oh, cool. So like there's like a priest pastor or whatever in there right now. He's like, no, no, no. This is live streamed from like somewhere else like or recorded i was like so you guys all gathered here to watch tv like the super bowl yeah and i'm like so there's no one in there doing like a sermon he's like no we just gather to watch i'm like this is fucking weird you know who goes hard and actually i do respect them religiously korean catholics oh have you seen how hard the korean catholics go well, um, one of the pathological liars that I dated was a pastor's kid, Korean. <gasps> Tell me about it. Ri Choi? Remember? Uh, are you sure they're Korean Catholics and not Korean Baptist? I do not the know the Jesus difference. Jesus is on the wall. Do not know the difference. I cannot tell you the difference between that. Um, but They, they were Catholic in the Crusades, by the way. Latin, like old school classic. Like, what were the Vikings? Like 1200s. Aren't they, they like... They mostly worship the norse gods the norse gods which are kind of kind of fucking sick thor honestly. odin loki and that okay but thor isn't kind of people like people turning Jesus? into horses and fucking people wait what giving birth to wolves now greek mythology that shit's crazy <laughs> but the, the norse are the same type of deal yeah. yeah zeus fucking everyone they're giving birth to like gods and demons and stuff people breastfeeding off of two giant wolves yeah that's kind of fucking and, awesome. Yeah, no, like Greek mythology is really metal. I love it so much. Like that, like, you know what? Maybe all my prayers aren't being answered because I'm simply praying to the wrong gods. Like everyone here is like praying to Jesus or Allah or whatever. Like what about all the forgotten gods? Bring like, back Dionysus, baby. Yeah, Come on. <laughs> exactly. Like if I were to suddenly like decide, you know what? I'm going to pray to... Hades. Hades. <laughs> Or let's, Dionysus. You're, you're more of an Aries, Gina. Or an Aries. Like, and then all of a sudden, all my wishes. Like, can you imagine the gods are sitting up there? They're like, oh, shit. What the? F- oh, my God. They haven't the, prayed to me in years. The, Who's this person? The god of violence is like, finally. I know, right? And then he's like, oh, yeah. Like, they haven't said my name in fucking millennia. So I'm going to definitely give her what she wants. So I should start just praying. Like, I'm just going to start finding different gods. I'm going to start praying to them and see which one works. I feel like you are just trying to manifest your own version of Hades. Yeah. Right? Cause so you can be praying to all the different gods and stuff, giving boons. them giving you their boons and all that shit. Honestly, it's more about them giving me their wieners because they were really hot. All right? They were so hot. R- Aphrodite, bless. though? Oh, my God. You're talking about the game Hades now. Yeah. We're talking about the game Hades. Yeah. God bless that artist, dude. Oh, my God. They did work. Uh, not not Medusa. Megara. Megara. Oh. 
Chains and whips excite me. Yeah. Chains yeah. and whips excite me. So I'm going to start praying to random gods and see what happens. I feel like that works. Mm -hmm. I usually just pray to like Thresh. Like, please, please, Thresh. Thresh can barely take care of himself. Do not come in with muddy paws. (laughs) And he can't even do that. How's how's your motherhood going? how's How's your motherhood going, Gina? So the other night I finished stream. I want to say it was like last Friday. I finished stream and um you know i turn off my computer and josh comes in and says hey um judge got into your your sock drawer and he destroyed one of your socks sorry like i was like oh which one and then he and then he pulls it up what do you mean which one their socks what is this stockings what the fuck how much does that say and where's it from ovley well, Gina, the interlocking G tights that you've pulled up for me on your phone right here uh, come from Gucci. The G does stand for Gucci for a whopping two hundred and ninety dollars without tax. Gina, I didn't even know that tights could be this expensive. I usually just get the ones that are in like the little eggs for like two dollars. Yeah, usually me too. But this is a treat that I bought myself, like years ago i don't usually buy myself designer stuff I'm like, treat you know yourself yeah, 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 yeah i was like i'm gonna treat myself i'm gonna get myself something nice somehow this little shit face found the most expensive sock among all the target like 30 for five dollars yeah. socks and destroys the most expensive one i don't own a lot of designer things so this was one of them and i got so angry obviously i got so fucking angry that i quietly picked up the socks threw it in the trash can went to the bathroom just shut the door and just stood there i was so mad oh you had a dad moment yeah you had a moment where it's like if i don't leave the room i'm gonna hit a kid yeah and then and then we go to bed Uh uh-huh uh we had just gotten a new king size bed so i had to get new sheets new blankets and everything i see a hole in my new linen duvet cover and this is the first time I decided to spend a little bit more money. Not like $20 sets, you yeah. know, bed sheets. I got linen. The hole is this big. Again, I went to the bathroom and I just. So I, and then I went back into the room and I, and I, I, I was talking to Josh and I was like, I, I feel terrible that I feel this way, but like, how do I put this? Like. Sometimes I regret getting this dog. Aww. You know? Yeah. And then he was like, no, that's... And he was so sweet. He's like, no, that's normal. Like, that's a normal feeling. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, he's like, no, that's normal. Like, I get that too. And I'm like, but what if that... What if I'm like that with... Like, if we had kids? That's called postpartum depression. Right? Uh, that's yeah. called parenting. <laughs> so I'm, he's like, yeah, that's normal too. I'm like, really? He goes, yeah. That's a totally normal feeling. People feel that. Sometimes they regret, like... God, I wish I didn't have this kid sometimes. Yeah. But you still love them. But I felt terrible saying it out loud. And he was like, no. Like, that that happens all the time. Totally normal. We know that, you know, you don't want to just fucking yeet them out of the house and stuff. And I was like, okay. But, I, like, I... <sighs> he's so lucky that he's cute. Because I've always said um, that the one... Do- I love dogs. I love all animals. But there's I've always said that the one breed that I never wanted was a husky. Yep. And then we get the DNA test back. Mm-hmm. He's thirty five percent husky. Yep. Obviously, he's destroyed around two thousand dollars worth of stuff at this point. My brand new couch bit a hole into it. My stockings, all the expensive stuff. He destroyed my neon light. So this is what I'm gonna say, Gina. This is what I'm gonna say. I feel like we had a discussion about this last week too. At what point do you start hitting him? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just, Joe Bobas does fucking. not endorse the beating of children of any I'm kind. I'm just fucking kidding. But it does. Michael sound- Vick, if you want to sponsor us. Oh, Jesus Christ. Michael Vick, if you would like to sponsor us, uh, we are accepting sponsorships now, everybody. It sounds like your dog does need good training, though. Yeah. Because I got really lucky with Thresh, where he was never destructive Mm -hmm. outside of carefully chewing out little stuffing from some of his stuffies. But, like, he doesn't get destructive until he gets a panic attack, and then he'll chew through a door. 
So he, yeah, he chewed through a door. Wow, like zero to a hundred. Yay. Yeah, 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 Jesus. Yeah. yeah, chewed through the door until his mouth, like his gums were bleeding because he was trying to get through the, and his paws were bleeding because yeah. he just had a panic attack. That's why I now have a dog door. Yeah. Instead of, uh, these is, this is what my kitchen doors used to look like. Oh, and I got all of the doors I replaced. See. Yeah. I see. You guys can't see it, but they're, they're doors. Yeah. Um, but he's also had like a shit ton of training and I started training him when I was still in high school. Yeah. So we got like prong collar for negative reinforcement treats for positive reinforcements. We did sit, heal, hear, uh, make sure his recall's good. Um, tons of puzzles because if you have a husky, then they're just they're they're wired to always be crazy. They're yeah. wired to always just be like, I need a job, I need a job. What's the next thing? I have so much energy, especially if he's still a puppy. Yeah. Like you're gonna have that for at least at least the next three years. Oh my god! Like I came home from a, a weekend trip and my neon light that's in the back yeah. of my 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 stream destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he bit through the light. He bit through completely through the metal wiring. Yeah. Like we checked to see if he was okay for us. He was fine, but jesus christ man it sounds like do you have a stream room uh it's my bedroom is this still your bedroom i thought you moved it out i i'm going to but it's been a long process okay mm -hmm. just baby gate it yeah although my dog to. my foster dog Bucci, could mm -hmm. easily jump over the baby gate yeah so just if you can it, it there should just be the room of stuff that you absolutely can't let your dog get into door yeah it's fucking wild. And, oh, speaking of uh, bleeding gums, saw my dentist today. Oh! He said, uh, thanks for the shout out. Hey, Mike. Um, and he did answer you. He said, hold on, hold on. Hold oh, on, hold my on. question about getting um, reinforced teeth. So when I bite people, it really What was it? You, you were trying to get diamond teeth or something? I wanted, it was diamond or titanium because that's what the army dogs have. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, so he actually took the time to reply, to respond. He said, I was at the gym on the uh, on the treadmill and I started watching it and I started cracking up and people were staring at me. And he said, and yes, tell Ovley, yes on the metal teeth, but most likely platinum and white gold. Titanium is too hard to melt and process in the lab. And then I was like, don't fucking humor her with the fucking answer, dude. Like, don't, don't address her directly. Wait, but then how do the dogs get it? I don't know. I really don't know. If, okay, well then what if instead of doing human teeth, they give me dog teeth? Just, just for these, just for the canines. <gasps> I could get my canines from a canine. Mike, do you <laughs> uh, Mike will see this. Mike will understand. That'd be so cool, though. Like, imagine I just had like these little. Oh, and by the way, um, so I called his office to today. I only had an exam. Uh huh. I called the office. I was like, hey, I need to schedule a cleaning because I haven't been in forever. Mm -hmm. And she goes. Yeah, the next cleaning would be like in April available. You know why? Why? Because I made this motherfucker go viral like <gasps> twice now. And then everyone's like, oh my God, he's so hot. And now his books are completely filled up and I can't get a goddamn appointment. That's hilarious. Will you hoes leave my dentist alone? I need to get my teeth cleaned. Oh my God. Fatherless. Is he, is he married already? Uh, He just got engaged. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fatherless behavior. Back off, hoes. He's Ladies. fucking taken. Jesus Christ. What? Sluts, you whores. Leave Shame. them alone. Hussies. Fucking hussies. Four months for a cleaning. That sucks. Ladies do love a dentist, I... though. I'm just saying. Why? Why do ladies love it's, a dentist? It's a great job. Way better hours than a doctor or a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Good money. If you own your own practice, you can make really good money. Yeah. No. Oh, he owns his own practice. Which, like, amazing. It's awesome. That is pretty They've cool. Gone to, it's gotten to the point where I go in there and harass them so much for social media stuff. They're like, hi, Gina. I'm like, hi. No. I have to set up like all of my dentist stuff and vision stuff and medical stuff because I just got all new benefits mm -hmm. because your girl is employed. Congratulations. I'm so excited. Um, For those of you, it's funny because I wasn't, I didn't know when I was going to make the announcement mm -hmm. and then it ended up dropping on Friday after we had posted. Mm -hmm. So I haven't been able to talk about this for a week or I haven't talked about it on the podcast for a week but i joined otk Yay. the streaming org um most notably asmongold emmy rue soda poppin and now will, will. neff fucking will neff billy nosh billy nosh i fucking love will I so love much so much i ran into him at uh stream awards and i just told him i was like dude i'm just following you so yeah. just wherever you go just know that i will fucking follow you yeah 
Um, but yeah, started at OTK as an executive producer, mainly for their big live in-studio shows like the Games Expo that they have in June and then the OTK Video Game Awards in December. Mm-hmm. Um, those are going to be my babies for the year. And I've already gotten a jump start talking to like or looking through all of the applications from a bunch of different indie game devs. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the games are really cool mm-hmm. looking. Um, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to PAX East in March. So I'm going to go look at some of the games there and then also just hang out a bit because the last time I went to PAX was when we were all there yeah. in 2022 with G4. Mm-hmm. RIP. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, just Yay! fucking crazy. So I'm super excited. Good job. Employment. The, Employment. Honestly, like the thing that I miss the most from G4 was just having some sort of a schedule. Not even a schedule. Having a community. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, so, yeah. like, showing up and then having you and, like, Gerard and, like, the whole crew and stuff when we went in there. Um, and it's just, like, cool. Everyone's working towards the same goal. Yeah. Everyone, like, cares about each other and all that stuff. People thrive in communities. I get that, too. Like, I, yeah. I, I miss seeing these people every day. And, like, sometimes even, like, when I'm at a restaurant, like, I kind of miss being in the restaurant business from when I was like a teenager you know like it was Mm -hmm. always so much fun and good energy yeah so it's just like I miss that and even though everyone that I'm working with right now are all remote Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually pretty cool they're like scattered all over the freaking country um I already feel like the people that I've been speaking with and working with I'm like oh my god you guys know what the fuck you're doing (laughs) which in esports coming straight from the esports scene it's like (laughs) yeah (laughs) you were a social media intern and now you're the CEO yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Let's fucking go. So, yeah, no, I, I'm super excited for OTK. And I'm when was your for official first day? Uh, last Monday. Oh, yeah. So literally just a full week. And yeah. I've already jam-packed it, filled with meetings. And I have a bunch more tomorrow. But so, yeah, it's going to be as like executive producer rather than talent. So don't expect me to be streaming like Emmy Rue and uh, all of those mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. But I'm super excited for it because it's it's a... Uh, it's definitely a different path than Mm -hmm. just doing straight hosting and just straight talent but it's one that i'm excited for because there's a lot of ideas that i probably can't execute just by myself Mm -hmm. so if i'm able to take some of the creativity take some of the weirdness and then also have it uh elevate the show that's what i'm pumped for but that's what's what you're great at like coming up with ideas and executing so yeah, i think this is like crazy perfect ideas. for you Yay, yeah i'm excited Yay. um but it was also cool was i got to see a bunch of people at the streamer awards yeah. last weekend too oh that's right yeah, yeah so i i went to the streamer awards um shout out to cutie cinderella literally the fucking goat for putting this whole thing together um it was cool so she had it at the wheel turn and it was you know same as the last two streamer awards where all your favorite streamers are there But the one thing that I have realized, Gina, Mm. I feel that even though I'm pretty confident and pretty secure in having like my my, my finger on the pulse and Mm -hmm. knowing like what's trending or like what's cool right now or like what's the fucking marketable, all of these new fucking streamers are going to push everyone else into retirement within the next five years. I swear to God. I couldn't tell you. I never watched streamers for more than like 10 minutes i'm gonna so run I could not tell you who i'm gonna run some names by you jinxy is that a league character Cl- jinx close but no jinxy queso i love cheese K- kai Sinat. bless you all right well it's black history month gina so you're officially canceled i'm part of that uh, well, no, I forgot you're a part of that. Excuse <laughs> me. Um, yeah, who was it? It was Jinxy, Queso, Kai Sanat, and... What do these people stream? I forgot one other person. Where do they stream? Kai streams on Twitch. Oh. He was the streamer that caused Times Square to essentially shut down because of that huge mob of people. Oh, okay. I remember that. that like, yeah. Form- mm-hmm. yeah. Queso is a streamer who, to be honest, I found through TikTok, but uh-huh. he also streams on Twitch. Mm-hmm. Um, like huge meteoric rise to fame um just over the past year jinxie i think came from the rainbow six community but also this guy is like still super oh, it's a young. guy yeah oh in his like early 20s yeah um but yeah no these are the streamers that the kids are watching just like how when we were kids we were watching people like i don't know i was watching pokey i was watching scara i was watching dyrus 
Um, I was watching just a lot of League of Legends players. What makes the new age of streamers different from the old ones that are that are that kids are watching more of now? So my quick observation is that people understand that if you want to get the very young kid demographic, it means you be loud mm. and then it means you be louder mm-hmm. so it's just uh, it's just yelling early it's, youtube it's it's a lot of fucking yelling oh, until God. you amass that audience yeah because that's your gimmick you yeah. get people in there from like the quick clips and all yeah. that shit and then you could start changing your brand you could start changing your media you start changing all that other shit once you are able to attract people wow it's like a cycle because i remember early youtube was hey what's up you guys welcome to and people like kids ate that shit up because they're kids they yeah. see shiny they see uh, something oh. flashy and they, they want it right yeah um that's not content that i'm i'm really good at and so i'm like, aware that i am never going to be like a uh fucking top tier streamer or some shit like that ollie we can sell out we, just, I, we can sell out i feel we like can totally do it right after here. the okay hear me out after the age of 23, mm-hmm. if you are not Asian, mm-hmm. I feel like you're already aged out of like the streamer group. How old was Ninja when he... Ninja is a guy. It doesn't count. Oh. I'm speaking for the... Oh, for women. I'm speaking for the women. If you are not Asian. Who do I know that's... Hmm. Oh, thank God I'm Asian. Right? Thank God right god bless right oh my god this is again an observation this is not obviously saying that no one who is not asian and a woman can't stream i'm just saying that this is just the observation that i've made i think just over like the past year or something Mm. because covid we saw the viewership for streamers on twitch and youtube you know spike because everyone's stuck at home everyone's looking for content creators to watch Mm -hmm. all of the studios were shut down with the strikes people are looking for something to entertain themselves turn to twitch streamers but like all of those numbers are now going back down people you know going back to work back into the office can't have a stream on a dual monitor while you're fucking typing away on the marketing reports in the office so viewership goes down there. People are getting tired of the content or maybe it's just lazy content in general. So I think Twitch streaming landscape or just streaming landscape in general is just going to keep changing and shifting. Yeah. Ludwig had said in his uh, speech for some award that he won, I think for his dodgeball event, but he basically said like, I've got five years left in me max mm-hmm. of doing content. Mm-hmm. And... I think what was interesting is that a lot of the other streamers and a lot of the YouTubers that we've already seen make their announcement. It sounds like everyone's kind of ready. Yeah. The old guard is ready to be like, all right, I'm going to take a step back and probably go do my own thing. Yeah. Because content creation is such a fucking grind and I really respect everyone who's able to do it. But shit, man, people are getting tired. People are getting into their get this growing old into their early Mm -hmm, 30s mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they're done yep that's crazy right we can sell out awfully what's up you guys do you want to fight for democracy boy do ya and can you nikki can you like just lots of colors and epileptic lights in the background please we can do this all day we can okay wait. dude you know what blew my mind away what you know that kid that used to open up toys ryan whatever like the six-year-old the little, little six-year-old asian boy? the little asian boy that became a fucking millionaire at like eight, eight yeah, yeah, years yeah. old i saw a recent video of him deep ass voice lanky awkward and like facial hair this the asian is, facial hair just yeah. like the three strands yeah. on the left side and two on the right yeah 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 Dude, this kid is grown now. And it's, and now people are like, you know, like, let the kid live. Like, he doesn't want to open up toys and shit anymore. Like, this kid has a deep voice. That it's, like, weird. Like, he had a growth spurt overnight. It's so weird. That's kind of cute. It's cute. That's it's cute. But it's, like, cute. the whole internet watched him grow up. And now it's just like, who is this grown-ass man on my screen? Yeah, that's where you just have to make that decision of... Do we go full force into trying to create and rebrand to something that's still on that kitty side of YouTube? Mm. Or do you just go do something different? Yeah. Like that <laughs> Disney Channel star, the blonde one, the sunny with the chance maybe. Blonde girl. I forgot mm. what the fuck her name was. Not Demi Lovato. Not the other ones. Just blonde girl. Mm. And so 
on top of being a Disney Channel star for like years and years and years, she also has like a PhD in some fancy STEM thing. Mm -hmm. And then now, I want to say it's as recent as a couple days ago, I think she just like launched some fucking space program. CEO of a new like space program of some sort. I have no idea. Yeah. That's so badass. I she is a hundred percent a time traveler. Yeah. Like she came back with the knowledge from centuries in the future and was like, I wanna see how the cavemen live. Ollie, you You're and I talking have to about come Bridget up- Mendler. Bridget mm-hmm. Mendlers. Ollie, you and I have to come up with like a, a phrase that we say if we ever become time travelers and come back and find each other. <sighs> And whenever we say it, you have to take it seriously. Like, oh shit, you're from the future, Ovaly. Penis. Hmm. All right, that's good. Do it. Yeah. One day, one day, I'm just gonna show up at your door. Penis. And then I will beat you up until you tell me all the lottery winning numbers. You think I can remember that? You fucking better in the future. Write it down. I'm not gonna be able to remember all that. This is for a greater good. I will take care of your. Future past children or some shit or another. Do you think I'm having children? Unfortunately, yes. Do you think I would have children on purpose or by accident? Honestly, probably, (laughs) probably, probably, probably on purpose. You think that I would plan for a child? Yes. A child? Yes. Like if you ever wanted a child, I think you would actually plan for it. Because you're not out here hoeing, obviously. Have you ever have you ever heard of the term, you know, just ending the cycle? Yes. I'm trying to end the cycle of all of humanity. Okay? Like honestly, Aaron and Attack on Titan had the right idea. Sterilize everyone. The humans need to to leave the planet, okay? Mm -hmm. I just want it I want it to revert back to just like dodo birds and fish. (laughs) You know? Just like let them repopulate. Yeah. I am tired of humans also. No, I think that you would... Because like I said, although you're not here hoeing around, so it's not going to happen accidentally. You know, it would have to be like a conscious decision of like, okay, maybe I want kids. If it happens, great. But it wouldn't be like, oh, fuck. I'm pregnant, you know? Because one, it would be... How did, how did that body pillow get me pregnant? Yeah, right? Well, maybe I got in a hot tub and someone jerked off into it. The temperature of the hot tub kills the sperm. Well, that's what they want you to think. Well, most of the time. That's what the bourgeoisie wants you to think. Ollie thinks you can get AIDS from a toilet. I, I think that's paper. mostly people who just had sex and then have to like make up some excuse later. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, well, it was in the hot tub. Like, no. Yeah. You slipped and landed on his dick. Yeah. No, I don't believe you. You know what I also don't believe? What? The negative reviews for Madam Web. Okay, hear me out. I think that people are haters. Okay, people don't want to see strong and independent women thrive in a non-Marvel movie. Okay, we're talking Sydney Sweeney. All right, we're talking Dakota Johnson. We're talking the. Other two girls that I do not know the name of. All right. And sure, there's no Spider-Man, but they're Spider-Women. And sure, they don't, you know, interact with like the rest of the Spider-Universe or Marvel or even the other Sony Spider-Men. But she can kind of tell the future. I don't know anything. But I, the only <sighs> thing I've heard about Madam Web is that it's dog water. And that's exactly what a true sexist would say tell me about why you don't support women okay i do there are strong do you watch the marvels do you know who hillary swank is she was in the million dollar baby that one she was badass i don't know that, what the fuck she's not we're, we're talking about sony and marvel right now gina you can't just start pointing into fucking outer space <sighs> who's a good fucking to... she can't even cool. na- name a woman she can't she can't she can't even name a motherfucking woman. It's true. It's true. Sexism. You know who was cool? Gamora. No. What was her? Yeah, Gamora. Yeah. Nebula. Zoe oh, Zoe Nebula. Nebula was tight. Karen Nebula Gillen. was good. She had yeah. better character development, in my opinion, yeah. since Gamora kind of died. Yeah. 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 
R.I.P. Uh, fuck the third Guardian of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Is that the rocket one? Yep. Uh, everyone says like it's so sad at some points. Yeah. Like, no. Nope, fuck story. it. I, I'm. I can't rewatch that movie. I but gotta watch it. Back to Madam Web. Okay. Listen. I'm gonna say something. I just keep on thinking of Charlotte's Web like live action remake. You think of the pig? Yeah. Okay. I think it's the same voice as Buttercup and Rugrats. Tommy. Tommy Pickles. Same voice. Tara Strong. Tara Strong is just so fucking accomplished. That is the voice actor career that you want. Like yes. her shit is crazy. But go on. Her great allow. So I- I'm just going to say this. Fifty Shades of Grey is my favorite movie trilogy. It's no Gina. You have to hear me out because it's actually fucking fantastic. Okay. There's a lot of people who are giving Dakota Johnson shit saying nepotism, baby. She can't act for shit. She's terrible. All of these like awful things. Right. Whose baby is she depo of? I don't know. Some fucking movie people. Her, her dad is Don Johnson from my Fuck, I West. really need to learn names, man. Like, I, don't I don't know any of these names, yeah. but, but she was the perfect Anna. Okay, she was the fucking perfect Anna in Fifty Shades because we needed some mousy little woman who looks awkward as fuck, can't say words properly, and is just an overall dork. Because that's us. That's us. You. We're the you. ones. Who's us? We're the so ones us here, who and we're just us? gonna trip, and a billionaire is gonna fall in love with us and buy us a house mm. on a on a riverbank, and then help. Help not die in a helicopter crash and Kobe? then fly us in a plane. And that did you just say Kobe again? Yeah. Gina. I think it needs to be seven years before you can. What? Like I'm lying? So anyway, Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Listen, you should watch Fifty Shades of Grey with me. I feel awfully. If I'm going to watch that fucking movie, you're the last person I'm going to watch it with. What? We No, we just skip through all the sex parts because those are the gross parts that I don't watch either. But the rest of the movie is great. It's not very sexy, if that helps. No. Then why do middle-aged it's white women awkward. love this shit so much? They're bored. It's true. But yeah, you should watch it with me. The trilogy's really good. Fifty Shades, Fifty Shades Darker, and Fifty Shades Freed. Okay, see, that last one was just fucking lazy. Like, you couldn't stick... Really? What, what, you thought darkest? Yeah. Fifty Shades, Fifty Shades Darker, and Fifty Shades Black? Deeper? Fifty Shades Blacked. Bring it. Bring in the black. <laughs> Producer Ian is a black man. Yes. Can We're we taking a, a turn. Can we sequel? see a picture of Ian? I'm just, putting, just so we can... <laughs> disclaimer, please. Just so we can, Jesus you know, uh, be safe. <laughs> just so we could fucking be safe. Um, uh, movies. Uh, speaking of movies, they just announced the trailer. They showed the trailer. Ollie, my entire gaming career started in the Santa Mon- No. Where was it? Where the fuck was the office? Somewhere in LA office of Machinima back in 2020. Machinima? Machinima. Where Rishi, shout out to Rishi, now head of Twitter. Oh, gaming fucking Gata, Rishi! I fucking love Rishi, man! Where Rishi was head of signing talent for YouTube contracts for Machinima. Took a chance on me and went, oh, she doesn't have a channel or anything? Yeah, fuck it, just sign her. Because- I overheard someone say, we need someone to create content for Borderlands. 21, 20 year old Gina was like, I love Borderlands. And I was there with a bunch of other YouTubers. And you said this was 2020? Oh, sorry. 2010. 2010. Okay. My bad. I'm like, you were 21 in 2020? Bitch, we could have been twins. Go ahead. I wish. Um, so yeah, back in 2010. Uh, and so I overheard them and I was like, I like Borderlands and I can maybe do stuff for you. And then uh, some guy on the side goes, yeah, but she doesn't really have a channel. Rishi goes, no, no, it's fine. Just fucking sign her. And they dropped me a contract. I didn't even read it. I'm fucking 20. Who, you know, yeah, 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 signed no. it. And then that's how I started my career in gaming, making videos, Borderlands videos for Machinima. They were terrible. All right. They were fucking awful videos. I had an Elgato capture card, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I started making videos. So now, yesterday, they just announced the trailer. They should, they launched the trailer for the Borderlands movie. I have words. Are they nice words? They're words. What kind of words? Give me two of those words. The fuck? Oh. Because, listen, Borderlands holds a very, very special part in my heart. Okay? I fucking love that game. And they made 
six foot something jacked ass Roland, Kevin Hart. Yeah, Kevin Hart needs to maybe stop being in some of these movies. Yeah. Like, I I don't have any beef with Kevin Hart. I loved his stand-up back then. I loved it so much. I thought it was a fun... You know what? He said, you ain't got no nipples. Some of my most favorite bits, you know? But it's like... And I'm just like, I'm gesturing wildly at a picture of Terry Crews. Hello? You know? Mm-hmm. Like, so that, that casting itself was... Uh, Kate Blanchett as uh, Siren. She looks pretty great. She looks great. She's a little older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tiny Tina looks adorable. Um, what's her name as as uh? T- 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 uh Isn't Jack Black Claptrap? Jack Black is Claptrap, which that feels is the great. one casting that I'm very happy about. But also, like, I kind of wish they actually used the actual Claptrap voice actor. But you know, whatever. Like, celebrities voice acting now is taking over. Whatever. Um, well Candace- come on he did a great job with bowser so jack black is like the one person that i will give like fucking passes to for everything yeah i i do love jack black and then tannis is played by um gerard's friend um, jamie lee curtis jamie lee curtis oh yeah yeah which i think that looks fine too but it's just like some of the casting i'm kind of like mm. but but that's the thing whenever we have these video game movies the movie studios aren't going, oh, yes, let's make the gamers happy. It's let's take this IP that is popular and for some it. of these communities and then just fucking Hollywood it, yeah. right? So if if there's a Bayonetta movie that comes out or something, right, that they start casting for, I would love to be Bayonetta. I will get a BBL and fucking plastic boobies implanted into my chest if you would like me to be Bayonetta. I will spend years perfecting my British accent instead of, hello, governor, because that's not really what Bayonetta sounds like, but I'll do it for the movie. But, but then- they're, they're going to fucking give it to Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's like, because that's what's safe, safer mm-hmm. for them. Mm-hmm. That's why they've fucking put chris pratt as mario yeah chris pratt again as garfield fuck yeah. you like am i gonna watch it yeah because i want to support you know gearbox and, and and borderlands and everything they've done for me am i excited about this casting or do i have high hopes nah. yeah so i'm gonna go in with into it just like you know i'm just here to support you guys damn yeah but it looks weird like i i think the one casting that i have the most gripes about is kevin hart like, come on, Roland's supposed to be a giant. That's like casting Kevin Hart as Barrett. <sighs> Don't give him any ideas, Gina. Right? Yeah. Right? Zac Efron as Cloud. Oh. That'd be pretty funny. Ugh. That'd be pretty fucking funny. Um, all right. Uh, Gina is going to be filming her first movie thing this Friday or this weekend. So hopefully that comes out by next week. We'll get it edited and all that stuff for everyone on the Patreon. Mm-hmm. Um, but otherwise... We're watching Jurassic Park. Fuck yeah. Oh, I started watching Major Pain. What's that? I haven't finished it yet, but it's so far really fucking funny. What is it? Uh, d- d- Marlon Wayne, Damon Wayne, Wayne, the Wayne Damon. Damon Wayans. And he's a he's a he's a... Uh, a marine sergeant drill sergeant drill sergeant and he gets and he's like like very war like i just want to kill people he's just so democracy funny. yeah and he gets put into like a, a a rich kid school where they have a really shitty jrotc program with like uh-huh. little fucking dweeby little kids and he whips them into shape good i'm like maybe like 25 minutes into the movie so far so good i like it we like that mm-hmm. we love that hillary blank banks plays the hot mom mm-hmm Orlando Brown from That's So Raven plays a little kid in there. Oh, I know. He was such a cute he kid. He did not age well. He did not. He did not age well. Anyways, that's all for us. But remember to fight for democracy on Helldivers because that's what we're going to be doing this whole entire week, Obli. Fuck yeah. Tune into the streams and watch us colonize. Colon- colonialism. For Christianity. Christ- Christ- missionary on a mission. D- democracy. Oh, missionary mission? War. Why was missionary name like it's like a church thing? Then why did they name a sex sex position after it? Like is that connected in any way? I need answers. Tune in next church? week to find out. Yeah. <laughs>